Hello everyone, I greet you in the name of God Almighty. My name is supposed to meet Tim Silas and today we have a very interesting video to react to and it says that a Christian converts to Islam after um, losing a debate. Whoa, okay. <laughs> this is very um, interesting uh, video. So when we get out to the video, we can be able to hear some of the questions that he was asked or what makes him to lose the debate so if today happens to be the first time of you checking out my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my facebook and instagram and if you have any video you want me to react to don't forget to drop it at the comment section and i'm going to check it out so before we get on to the video i'm a theologian and i make this video not to discredit anyone's religion this is basically for educational purposes and i believe that at the end of this video we all are going to learn from this. So let's get down to the video and listen to some of the questions that makes him um, lose the debate and then convert to Islam. Next question over here. Hi, yes. My name is Patrick. I'm a student at Centennial College. My question is, in Islam it says, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is not the Son of God. When we are all children of Allah and born of mother and father, for he is only born of a mother, why is he not the son of God? But the Patrick asked a very good question, a very important question. He said that why in Islam is Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, not considered a son of God? When we all are children of God, he being born of a virgin woman, all the more reason should be. See, brother, if you tell we are children of God, in that way I've got no problem at all. If you read the biblical language, if you say that we are children of God and Jesus is son of God, in that context, meaning he is person who follows the commandment of God, most verily, all the messengers of God, they are sons of God. But the problem is, if someone says he is not a normal son, but he's the begotten son, then there's a problem. Because if you read the Bible, the Bible have got sons, the God has got sons by the tons. If you read the Bible, Adam is son of God, Ephraim is son of God, Israel is son of God. It's mentioned in the book of Romans, chapter number 8. All those who are led by the Spirit of God, they are sons of God. That means if you follow the commandment of God, you're a son of God. I've got no problem with that phrase at all. But today, that phrase has been misunderstood. You know, for example, if a young son Ask me a question. I said, beta, son, it's a very good question. He won't mind because I'm elderly, you know. But if I say that begotten son, that means I'm insinuating him. You know, maybe he'll punch me. Fine. So what do you realize? That using the phrase son of God, in the context that we are children of God, we have no problem. So in that context, all the human beings who follow the commandments of God can be called children of God. No problem. But what the Christian says that no 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 Jesus Christ peace but it's not a normal son and he quotes gospel of John chapter number 3 verse number 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son whosoever believeth in him shall not die but have everlasting life correct brother? so do you believe Jesus is the begotten son of God I do you believe fine now this verse which I quoted gospel of John chapter number 3 verse number 16 it's from King James Version for God soul of the world, that he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believeth in him shall not die but have everlasting life. Now when you read the revised standard version of the Bible, revised by Thaidu scholars, Christian scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 different cooperating Christian denominations, they say that this word begotten is interpolation, it's a fabrication, it's a concoction, it's an adulteration. Who's saying? Not Muslims, not Hindus. Thaidu Christian scholars of the highest eminence in the revised standard version of the Bible, they say begotten is an interpolation. It's a fabrication. It's a concoction. And they're thrown out of the Bible. So if you say Jesus is son of God, like Adam, like Ephraim, like Israel, I have no problem. The moment you say begotten, I want to ask you the question, what is the meaning of begotten? Brother, what is the meaning of begotten? You know, begetting is an animal act. It's the function of lower animals of sex. And when you say that he was born to Mother Mary, 
virgin, what are you insinuating? And if you say, because Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is God, a son of God, because he was born to Mother Mary, Quran gives the reply in Surah Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 59. That when they say, the similitude of Jesus in front of Allah is the same as Adam. They were born from dust and said, be and it falls. If you say that Jesus Christ is God because he had no father and only mother, then Adam, peace be upon him, is a greater God. He had no mother and no father according to the Bible. <laughs> Mashallah, you're clapping. I like it. So if you say Jesus is God because he had no father, only mother, Adam is a greater God, peace be upon him. He had no mother, he had no father. I never referred to him as a God, but son of God. That's right. Fine. So Adam is the bigger son of God. <laughs> right or wrong? By your definition, Adam would be a God, for he has no mother nor no father. Not my definition, not my definition. By the definition of the Christian missionary, by my definition, he is a messenger of God. Because God cannot beget. I told you in my talk. Lam yalit wa lam yulat. He begets not nor is he begotten. The moment God begets, he is not God. Son of God meaning pious person, I agree. That's the reason Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran, in 99 attributes, he has missed out ab, father. Why? It's a good attribute. But Allah did not mention ab meaning father because people started having wrong meaning of the word father. So he used a more difficult word, rub, but did not use Abba. Logically, it's fine. But Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala purposely did not use the attribute Ab in the Quran because people will misunderstand. That's the reason English-wise, saying Jesus is the son of God, meaning messenger of God, I'm with you. But the moment you say begotten son, I have objection. So you say Jesus is a messenger of God, I say peace be upon him after his name. So I respect Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, more than you, Brother Patrick. Because when I take his name, I have to say peace be upon him. If I do not say that, I'm wrong. So I love Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, more than you. I follow his teaching more than you. And if you want, I can prove it to you. That's a different argument, not for tonight. Sorry? 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 That's a different argument and not for okay, tonight. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll give you a few things. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Fine? If you read the Bible, he was circumcised on the eighth day. Fine? Majority of all the Muslims are circumcised, the Christians aren't. So if you say Christian means a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, then it's mentioned in the book of Leviticus, chapter number 11, verse number 7 to 8. It's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 14, verse number 8. You should not have pork. It's mentioned in the book of Isaiah, chapter 65, verse number 2 to 5. You should not have pork. Muslims don't have pork. Most of the Christians have pork. If you read the book of Ephesians, chapter number 5, verse number 18, in the book of Proverbs, chapter number 20, verse number 1, it says you should not have alcohol. Muslims as a whole don't have alcohol. Most of the Christians have alcohol. If you say Christian means a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, we Muslims are more Christian than the Christian themselves. We love him. We respect him. If you say, I love Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, and don't follow his teachings, your love is false. We, therefore, mashallah, I love Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, more than most of the Christians. Because I follow his teachings, I respect him, I revere him. And Jesus Christ also said, in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 11 to 14, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He was talking about Prophet Muhammad to come. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, you have to believe in the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So even that way I'm following Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. I believe in Prophet Muhammad. Do you believe in Prophet Muhammad as the messenger of God? I do. MashaAllah. Now you're more closer to...
that led him to lose a debate and then convert to Islam. It was actually a very um, interesting um, video per se, but then that's why um, the Bible says to says in the book of um, Timothy that you should study to show yourself um, approved. Zakir Naik have explained it based on his own um, understanding of the Bible, but when you look at the Quranic uh, perspective about um, Jesus Christ, which uh, I heard that um, they have a particular um, chapter that is uh, called Surah, is it Surah Miriam or something like that, that is talking about the birth of Jesus Christ and everything that concerns um, him, says that the Spirit of God comes upon um, Mary and then that's when she bore a son that um, Jesus Christ was born in a miraculous um, way but one thing that um, I think that uh, I'm still curious about it is when it says that the Spirit of God comes upon Mary and then she conceived right what does that really mean like what does it really like what does it mean I know that in understand when it comes to things that has to do with God, sometimes logic finds it very difficult to explain innocent things like that. But then, if we says that in God's word that God is spirit, because it says that God is spirit and those that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. So the spirit of God comes upon um, Mary and she gives birth to His Son. Is the spirit not supposed to give birth to a spirit? And if that should be the case, then why do we have an issue of um, saying that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? Not about talking about um, Romans chapter 8 that was talking about um, those that are led by the Spirit are called sons of God. Not just about us, of course, we know. but. Don't we think, because that's what that differentiates the Christianity from Islam, which is the Trinity. The Christians believe that they worship one God, but they believe that God manifests itself in three forms, and that is the Holy Spirit and the Son, which is Jesus Christ. But then, when you look at it, for some of the references um, Dr. Zakir Naik make, aside from John 3, verse 16 to talk about and understand the begotten and then also spoke about um, John chapter 16 from verse um, 14 that the Bible was talking about when the Jesus was talking about sending um, or saying to the disciples that I have many things to say upon you but you cannot hear them now but when the spirit of the truth shall come to that teach you all things to the Christian spirit, of course, the person Jesus Christ was referring to is the Holy Spirit, but then to Muslim is Prophet um, Muhammad. Well, the truth about it is, we will probably until we die and then we find ourselves on a judgment day, that can be able to like, help some of us to understand to whether we got the whole thing wrong or we are right. But as far as we are still here, we can't be able to know. It's just about someone talking about how heaven is or how um, God is. We can't be able to tell, but we just assume that this is how it is. And we just believe in really true faith. But we don't know true nature of him or how it is and how heaven is going to be. We could look at even the story of the rich man, right? And then um, Lazarus, right? when he pleaded for an opportunity to be given to him to go back to the earth and preach to his what 
brothers but the bible makes us to understand and i think the same thing is also applicable to the quran that god has sent his prophet right and messengers so if they listen to them they will be saved from this eternal um hellfire so we can't really truly know to whether we are right or wrong but all i could say is that let's try to be devoted to whatever religion we find ourselves in let's try to obey all the commandments as much as possible and do our best so that god is so merciful for when we do that our deed will not attract god um mercies um upon us and that's when the grace will now come into operation and that's the only thing that can take us to heaven else otherwise we perish in hellfire which is not my prayers for you and me the brother have converted to islam i believe probably he must have found his peace and then we also pray for him to be obedient to the word of god and not to backslide so guys this is the end of my video if you like my reaction if you like share and subscribe and if you have any video you want me to react to don't forget to drop it at the comment section and i'm going to check it out so guys remain blessed